Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. This week's tip is going to be looking at billing codes and how to use them in different reports. If we start by going to our patient list, we'll go ahead and pull up our test patient here and take a look at their patient information screen. Down at the bottom of the screen, you have do not bill patient and then there's your billing code. The billing codes are used to classify patients for different reasons. Dentamax does not come with preloaded billing codes, which gives you the freedom to create ones that you would like to use that mean something in your office. In this example, I put a billing code of E to indicate that this is an employee of the office. When I go to run a monthly statement or perhaps a patient aging report, I can either choose to include or exclude this billing code that I've listed here. If I'm running an aging report to look at balances and who owes what money, I would probably go ahead and exclude the billing code of E because those would, in theory, be the office's employees and you could speak directly to those people or perhaps their bills get written off as an employee benefit. Another example of a billing code you could potentially use would be an F for a family member of an employee, or perhaps you would just use a star to indicate something special regarding that account. A couple other examples would be a billing code of C, which would mean call to collect the monthly payment rather than printing out a statement. Or maybe you do P for a payment plan to indicate you want to run the payment plan statement instead of just the standard statement. Essentially, I'm just picking a character that would represent something that my office in particular might use, and I'm just going to decide across the board that P would equal payment plan. The key here is that you make a list of the different billing codes you choose to create and make sure you put what those equate to so that down the road you're not trying to remember what P means. Once you're done assigning a billing code you want to save your changes and then those billing codes show up on a few different financial reports. So if we click on your reports button, some of the reports that those fields show up on is the different aging reports we have listed here. So if I select the patient aging anticipated report and hit print preview, you'll see in my filters, I have the option to add in a billing code to only show patients with that particular billing code or exclude patients with a particular billing code. So depending on what my purpose is here and the billing code you're looking for, you're just gonna go ahead and choose which field to plug that code into. Let's say I only wanna see my patients with a P for a billing code. So I'm gonna put P in that field and click OK. And there's only a couple people I had assigned that billing code to, and there's our test patient, and then we have one other patient. If I go ahead and close out and rerun that report, so I'm going to select print preview and leave the billing codes blank, let's see what patients were given now. So as you can see, we have a few other folks that are put onto this report since we did not include or exclude any particular billing codes. Aside from the aging reports, the billing codes also show up as a filter when you're generating statements. So again, for example, we have the anticipated family statement. We'll go ahead and click Print Preview, and we have some of the same search fields. Let's go ahead and once again choose Patient Billing Code is a P. Click OK, and we should only see those two patients, Alicia and Sades. Here's Alicia's statement, and we'll go ahead and click the arrow over button, and there we have Sades. Since the billing codes are dealing with patient finances and billings, you'll want to remember that those show up on filters for different financial and billing reports, such as the statements and the aging reports. Again, just be sure to make a cheat sheet and a listing somewhere and that everyone in the office is consistent in using the same billing codes with the same meanings behind them. And you can go ahead and classify or categorize your patients based on those billing codes. That's been the Dentamax Tip of the Week, and as always, if you have further questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.